In this video, we will see how to append multiple CSV file kept into one folder. Now I have an example created. Let me show you that folder here. So the folder number is 2.3 append all CSV files. If I open that, I have total eight files. These are all CSV files kept into this folder. Carefully observe all these files are following a pattern. You see this data is for 2020 year and different months. So April 2020, August 2020, Feb 2020. So the last word ending is 2020 here. That's a catch here. Now I can just open any one file. Let's say April 2020 and I can show you the data set here. The data is very simple. Just three columns separated by comma and these are all 10 records total 10 records where I have the date, name of the client and what is the sales done. So I can just close this file. So all the files have similar data. If you see they are just 1 KB, 10, 10 records per file and total these are 8 files. So if you multiply 10 records into 8 files, I'll be getting 80 records. Let me open one more file just to show you an example here, May 2020. So this May 2020 is having a date of May month. So 1 5 2020 is May month and the data is same. Okay, no changes, only the date is changing. So I can close this file here. Now, what is the data output I want? I want to append all these eight files into one file. How do I do that? Let us see. So I'll just open this Ltrex, click on this new workflow and here I can pick up this input file, the same input file. I can click on this drop down click on files, select file and from that folder 2.3 I can pick up any one file. So there are eight files, just pick up one file and click on open. Now before I pick up that file carefully observe the last word is 2020. The first word is April, May, June, July, last word is 2020. So I can just click on open here and if I expand this window and click on run button. Total number of records in one file was 10. So I can click on OK and you can see these are 10 records. How many fields are there or how many columns are there? Three columns are there. Now suppose if I want all the files in that folder. So I can just delete this April underscore and instead of April, the word can be anything. April, May, June, July. So if you want any text over here, replace that with star. Star is nothing but a wild card. If you know SQL language SQL where these are wildcards star plus question mark in this case I'll put as star star means anything but the ending should be with 2020. So that's only one trick which you have to apply once you do that and you have to just click on run button. Now all the files in that folder is been appended. So if I click on OK, how do I know you can see these are total 80 records and these are total three columns. So 8 file into 10 records per file is 80 records. Now if you scroll down, it becomes difficult for me to find out which data is coming from which file. I am not sure about that. So you can tell them the fourth one that also give me the file name. So I can click on this no button and select the option. Give me just file name also. So if I click on file name and click on run. Now. I'll be getting a fourth column. This fourth column, if you see the file name, will display all the file names here. So that is very quick method of appending all the CSV file into one file. In the coming videos, I'll show you how to get an output directly into some other place. But one interesting thing, if you observe, total 80 records, 8 files. Next month, if some other person comes and he puts one file into this folder, so I can just right click, copy, and I can paste the file. Since I do not have a new data, I'm just copy pasting the file. Let me rename this as December 2020. Now the number of files in that folder are nine files. And if I go to Ltrex, here there are total 80 records. When I click on run button, now I'll be getting 90 records. So this is complete automated process. You just teach Ltrex one time, it will execute and do it for you regularly. So that's the magic about Ltrex. I hope you have understood. That's all for this video.